Hello and welcome to Living in Longview. Today we're on location here at Hensley Park in Northeast Longview. We're going to be talking about an election that's coming up on November 3rd, trying to provide you some information about that and hopefully answer some frequently asked questions. Hi, I'm Sean Hara, and today we're joined by Scott Karen, who's our Director of Parks and Recreation. Thanks for being with us. No problem, anytime. And also, welcome to town. Welcome to Longview. You've only been here a short while. Hopefully everything's been going well for you. It's great. We love Longview. Very good. Well, you got to town, and we've got a big issue coming before uh, the citizens right now about our park system. So let's talk a little bit about that. First of all, tell us a little bit about what's here at Hensley Park. Hensley Park is about 38 acres, and it's our main facility for adult softball. We have a disc golf course here playground and you know some other park amenities that you would typically find in a community park. All right well City Council um, called an election for November 3rd and what that uh, proposition will say it's for or against uh, the removal of part of the park designation from Hensley Park thus allowing the sale of the land or its use for other purposes. So let's talk a little bit about that how this uh, election came to be. Right and the city did not initiate the whole development aspect of it that was done by a developer. They approached the city and said, hey, is this a possibility of something we could do? And so that's kind of where it started. All right, and what some people may not know is, in order for a property to have, uh, it's, if it's a park and it's designated as such, in order for it to be used for anything else, the voters have the opportunity to make that decision. So that's why this is going to election. Right, and, and it, it's all the election does is designate whether it is or is not going to move forward as a park. You know, you're at the Parks Department, I'm sure ever since this election has been called, you've been getting a lot of questions about it. Um, I'm guessing one of those big ones is what happens to this park in the meantime, right? Right, and what will continue to happen is this park will be programmed as it always has been until such time as a, a other, another park opens up in its place. All right, so that's a, a key point. This park wouldn't have any interruption. It would be uh, until uh, some decision is made, this park would continue to be used as a park. Um, and you say a replacement park uh, as part of that, that's one of the things in the discussions between the city and the developer has been an expectation that a replacement park be provided. So let's talk a little bit about that. At a minimum, what would be required is to replace the amenities that are currently available here. This is our primary facility for adult softball and it's used quite heavily. So we know that anything that goes into a new park would have to have something that was currently here and that's what we're looking for. Very good. Well, thank you very much for coming and being with us and I'll be able to explain a little bit about this. Obviously, it's up to the voters to decide and uh, we're not here trying to advocate one way or the other, just providing that information and education. Yes, sir. It's good to be here. And thank you for joining us as we learn more about this proposal that will be going before the voters on November the 3rd. We encourage you to learn more by going online to longviewtexas.gov slash Hensley. And also, please be aware that there is a public hearing scheduled on September the 29th. And that'll take place at City Hall in the Council Chambers at 5.30 p.m. Thank you for joining us, and we encourage you to go online and learn more about this proposal. Hey guys, Shelby Downing here, and Lombie Police and Partners in Prevention would like to invite you to join them for the National Night Out Party the first Tuesday in October. NNO is an event that provides priceless interaction with people in your neighborhood in a fun, festive setting. Getting to know your neighbors is really important in preventing crime and bringing a neighborhood together. So sign up now and learn how your neighborhood can participate in the National Night Out event in October. It will be well worth your time and make Lombie an even safer place to live.